How's it going, guys? Uh, you're back. It's fight week, co-main event, another big opportunity. I mean, emotions get high, excitement, still just business as usual? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I wouldn't call it business. It's play. <laughs> Life is play. Um, but, yeah, um, emotions are not necessarily high, but I am excited. I guess you can call that an emotion as well. But, yeah, it's a great feeling. You know, I'm right back. It's like deja vu again. <laughs> Well, speaking of deja vu, I think this is what, like seven straight fights here at the UFC Apex, I believe. I mean, uh, five and one during that stretch, if I, if I believe I calculated right. I just wonder, like. Six and one. Six and one. Well, five and one here. I think the other one was outside of here. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. So I'm just curious, like, I mean, your thoughts on being here. Like you said, I, I wonder if you're that kind of guy that kind of likes that routine, kind of likes that, like, I, you know, I know we're going to show up here, we're going to go there, we're going to do that. No, it doesn't make a difference to me. When I was at 135, I was fighting all over the place, and I went two years unbeaten. So um, I think I just hit a stride right there. I'm, I'm beginning to understand a little bit better. Even when I was, I, I couldn't say that even when I was on that win streak, um, when I was at 135, I couldn't say that like I understand my mind a little bit better or I have a little bit more faith in my body and its actions a little bit better. I think that's the biggest difference. And it might come with maturity. Maybe I'm growing a little bit more. I'm becoming more of a man. Maybe the Facial hair is starting to give me a little bit more confidence. But uh, aside from that, I, I do feel like I'm coming into my own. Nice. So is, is there maybe any comfort in the fighting environment itself there, right? Like it's not quite as chaotic and hectic as maybe like, you know, a big arena or whatever. Is, is there anything that's more comfortable in the apex for you? No, I, I wouldn't say. It, I, I've always been comfortable in crisis situations, I feel. Like, I mean, if you looked at my career and all my fights, it seems like I'm always smiling and always calm and collected during the fight. And it's because this is the only place that I feel like I can free myself or I can really relax. You know, um, I'm in a, I, I have to relax. I'm in a crisis situation. It's like when I'm in a car accident, your body must go limp or you will break something. So in those times, it's best to know, learn how to bend. And I like being flexible. So I like putting myself in those situations to see how far I can bend. Rare situation where your opponent uh, actually has more experience than you do. I mean, do, does that factor in? Although you don't really, you know, breaking down tape and studying everybody, but when you see a guy has that many fights, does that change the dynamic for you at all? Well, having a number of fights and having experiences um, are quite different. You know, um, it really depends on what you learn from every fight and what you take from it, um, whether you improve from the outside eye or not. But how much do you learn? How much do you grow from within yourself? There's a lot of people that are. Um, that has years on me and don't have the same amount of experience that I do. So to me, I don't really think about the experience levels or anything like that. Um, the readiness and the gameness is what would probably have me more uh, cautious than, than the experience. I mean, you are kind of a senior member of the roster at this point, right? I mean, do, you, do people seek out, as crazy as that may sound, right? I mean, you've been around forever. Do, I mean, do, you, do people ever seek out advice or do you see yourself as like, you know, you were the kid coming in and now you're like the role model? Uh, I mean, I, I don't really get asked too much, so much for advice. I, I, I do get like DMs like on Instagram and people like, oh, I want to start my career. What should I do and stuff like that. But um, other than that, um, I don't know. I, I, I still see myself in a position to where, uh, and to be frank, people don't really believe in me. You know, like I could be on a win streak, I could be winning, but then it's like, oh, well, he doesn't really know what he's talking about or doing. I still get that kind of notion every once in a while. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I mean, a lot of the times when things change, they often point at the person changing the things as if they don't know what they're doing or talking about because breaking tradition or breaking the mold seems to be a little bit uh, bothersome to some people. Did you ever feel along the way that maybe I need to conform, maybe I need to change the way I say it, or did you always know, no, I believe in the path that I'm walking? No, there's always doubts. There's always doubts. It's whether you let them, whether you let the water into your ship or not, it's it's the it's it's the crucial matter. But there's always doubts. There's been doubts. Um, I've been vegan for about ten years, you know, and and there's been doubts about my diet. Like, oh, maybe I'm not doing this because I'm eating this way or this way or that way, and then I prove myself wrong, and time makes a fool of me as well. But aside from that, uh, yeah, there's been plenty of doubts. I, I've doubted for a long time that I don't have power that I can't hit people hard, and then we go and prove myself wrong again. You know? and so um, it's beginning to come together, and it has to do a lot with believing in myself. Yeah. That's it for me. Do you have a master plan? And, like, I know you're a martial artist at heart, but I know you also have a lot of interest outside of the sport as well. Like, have you thought about how long you want this, fighting in the UFC at the highest level, to be part of your life versus chasing those same passions without the competition? 
haven't really given it too much thought. I, 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 I feel like I can have a very long career. I don't feel like I'm slowing down. Like I, I feel like I'm coming into my own just now. I don't feel a day older than when I started. If anything, I feel more athletic, more cardiovascularly sound, sometimes more younger than I was when I was in my 20s, to be honest with you. Um, I think I'm, uh, how would you say, hitting those final stages of puberty, I guess. You know, like I'm, I'm starting to get like a crazy amount of energy. I want to work out more. I get bouncy if I don't work out and stuff like that. So like I, I just enjoy the progression. I enjoy the improvement every single day, 1% better every single day. And that's really the journey. It has nothing to do with, with uh, whether I'm in the UFC or not or how long I'm going to be here. It's how long I want to keep fighting. And if I'm fighting and it so happens to be in the highest echelon of mixed martial arts, then so be it. But aside from that, I, I just want to see the extent of my physical ability before I am too old to continue to see that progression.